fans were treated to a top-tier game on Saturday as Manchester City played host to Liverpool in the FA Cup quarter-final. The two sides met previously in October's Premier League fixture, a nil-nil here at the Etihad, so both teams were eager to get on the scoring books and one-up their opponents in this one. Martin Tyler, alongside Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher, were commentators on this fixture. I just wonder whether the volume is up a bit louder. It's certainly the sort of game to get the crowd cheering right from the start. Manchester City opened the scoring in the 12th minute as Erling Haaland netted to make it 1-0. Haaland, can he reach it? You bet he can! You bet he can! What a pass! We expect that, but now he's got someone on the end of it. The machine. Liverpool had their fair share of chances, but Edison was squatting goal for City, stopping the oncoming attacks. Still. And still. What a save. But that is a wonderful, wonderful save. Here's a top save he pulled off in the 20th minute. Going, still there, and coming in, oh, so, so close to punching back, as you said. Nevertheless, Liverpool were relentless, and five minutes later, Jordan Henderson scored this equaliser. The interception. Now a chance with some acceleration as well. Oh, oh what a goal! Oh. But wipe away all those statistics about never scoring here. <laughs> Just put that to bed, not scoring in an away Premier League start for over two years. He put that to bed in the most emphatic fashion. The power, the accuracy. Indeed, the power and the accuracy were on full display here as well as Jordan Henderson nearly got his second of the game. And what a great strike that was. City weren't without their chances. Phil Foden missed a header from close range and Erling Haaland subsequently hitting the post. A lot of Manchester City's chances going the aerial route, it seemed. City opened the second half strong. They were the quickest to come out, but Liverpool had defending to match it. And City just couldn't find a way through. They probed and pushed, but weren't able to convert. The first real chance came through some neat build-up play and Erling Haaland's header eventually landing into the hands of Alisson. But uh, City finally found a way through. Uh, Jack Grealish, uh, coming on quickly as a substitute, was clinical in the box to make it 2-1. Oh, So City went ahead, Grealish scored, and they were starting to believe again. But Liverpool weren't messing around with their chances, and on the 52nd minute, Roberto Bobby Firmino converted to make it 2-2. It's a lovely ball. Roberto Firmino makes it 2-2. Seven minutes into the second half, and Liverpool show that in town they're still around. His concentration is good. Really, folks, he's on the strike. Liverpool missed out on a vital chance to go ahead as Diogo Jota missed this absolute sitter. And surely it must oh! be a goal. Goodness me. To be fair to him, it looks like it might have just bobbled up there. But it wasn't long before City took the lead again and their main man, Erling Haaland, was bang on the money yet again. Finally find the key to the door. Oh! and got the touch. No one spotted him. Concentration, head down, power, accuracy, precision and goal. But there was a twist to the tail. It's not over till Mohamed Salah sings. Just when City thought they were ahead, Salah struck a late equaliser, levelling the playing fields. And Salah, he winds up to have a go! He keeps on going. Liverpool keep on scoring, and Mo Salah is the man again. Well, there are two sides to that goal. 
his mistake, but Salah's impish finish. In form, you said, back in form, Gary, and there's another example of it. What a game of football. It's the equalising goal, an extraordinary climax to a match that, by tradition, has a lot of history for this kind of fixture. And so, goal after goal after goal after goal. Three, three. Enough goals for me, and I'm sure all the fans were satisfied, but it's not over yet. The second leg awaits at Anfield.